Well, hello again, B Dad's family. It's Murdoch. Back here in the Mad Scientist Lab. And uh, I think today we're going to be talking about sweet potatoes. That's right. Somebody had made a comment and mentioned sweet potatoes. And if we can stall tubers the same way that we do our uh, carrot stalling, you know, like with our carrot bed we got right here. And uh, transplanting those little guys and keeping them at our leisure and then putting them out wherever we want, when we want. Um, you know, weather according, of course. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at what we got going on. And we have a bonus that we're going to throw into this video here um, just to try to help everybody out. Uh, something else that in the same uh, course of experimentation uh, showed itself. And I think it's actually kind of neat. So without further ado, here we go. Everyone knows this is a uh, sweet potato, but did you know that if you take a sweet potato and put it in a quart jar with a couple inches of water, like so, within about a week, it will do this and begin to produce all sorts of little growths all over it. Isn't that beautiful? These guys were in a tub earlier, and I just pulled them out. Look at that. Isn't that neat? So, I was thinking, why, instead of chopping that potato up into 10 pieces and then planting those and getting 10 plants, why couldn't I just keep it in my window in a jar and cut off the babies as I want them and get about maybe 25 to 100, depending on how much they want to grow. So we're going to go ahead and uh, check this out and see if it actually works. I know the cuttings will work, but I just don't know if the longevity is there, if I can actually keep that sweet potato in a jar for a year and uh, constantly pull little growths off of it um, enough to keep the garden com more than completely full um, with sweet potatoes. Anybody who's ever grown these guys knows it does not take very many sweet potatoes to take up the entire yard. Um, we're going to try to do these guys in the potato towers this year to see if that works. So, I am going to try to do this one-handed here and see how we do while I'm filming the whole thing. How is everybody today? Hopefully everybody's having a great day. Um, basically, what you're going to do, and what I have done in the past, like this guy right here where he's got these little growths right here on the top, I'm going to go ahead and take my razor knife and I'm going to take a slice directly through this guy, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and just pop this right on off, just like this. And I'm going to take just this growth, like this. And we're going to go ahead and set them down on our table here. Wow, this is kind of interesting doing this on video. And we're going to split him right in half. Now, the reason being is that each and every one of these little tiny growths will produce its own plant and its own sweet potatoes. See that little guy right there? You would never know it, but this little thing right here has the potential to make you 20 or 30 sweet potatoes in about six to eight months. Neat, huh? So we're going to go right over here, and I have pre-filled some of these little um, recycled growing containers. I think these are uh, pint growing containers. And the only reason I'm going to do this instead of just taking them directly to the garden is because we got some frost coming in the next couple of days, and these guys will be susceptible to frost. So uh, this is, a, again, another way that a lot of you colder weather gardeners can get your plants, get them all ready, and literally cut months off of your growing time. Why wait until that ground thaws out, go out and put a potato out, and then have to wait the entire year when you can get three or four harvests a year by doing this? Isn't that neat? So we're going to go ahead and take our handy dandy little planting stick, make a nice little hole, place this guy right in it. And I like to put these guys down about an inch. And that's about it. Give them a nice little press. And that's it. Ta-da! He'll be going back into the 
window and uh, in about a week or two that thing will have little vines coming out of it and it, it can be planted at that point at any time and it will not harm it. So hopefully that helps. Um, as you can see, we have plenty of sweet potatoes. We're going to be go ahead and filling all these up. Um, I'll save you guys that on the video. Uh, but as far as our bonus, check this out. This is an old yellow onion that was going to go bad. So I decided about two, three weeks ago, let's go ahead and just throw it on a jar and see if I can root it. I've already thrown some out in the garden to get going and to stall them out. Um, to help preserve uh, some onions for another three or four months um, so I can use them at my leisure. But in the process of doing this, when I came to actually get to these guys, I noticed something peculiar. The outer shell had completely disintegrated like there was no more onion left. Check this out. So I took the liberty of already peeling one. And what did I find? Looky here. The leeches on top, as they had spread out when they were growing onions, down in the bulb, the bulb split itself and has now made three yellow onions in one. So we're going to go ahead and take this guy, excuse me, while I reach out to my phone, and just pull it apart. Look at that. Put this guy back in the water while we're dealing with this one. Now look at this. Now, anybody who has ever tried to grow bulb green onions would understand that take, to get an onion this size from seed would literally take you months. Now, I did this in three or four weeks. This is going to change the entire game of trying to grow bulb onions. I will be able to plant this. I'm almost positive. And uh, it's going to grow me a full bulb onion. You can already see it has completely sealed itself up. It's starting to swell right there. Um, it, it's going to do its thing. So look at that, Patriots. One leftover onion set in some water for a few weeks until it begins to implode on itself. And we end up with this. A beautiful starter onion that is months ahead of schedule. If you were to do this in your kitchen in a warm window, you could literally start in December for a garden in March and have almost ready mature onions to go. So we're going to do the exact same thing. Swap our hands here. Make a nice little hole for this guy. Sorry, and I'm not the best film artist here, but and we're going to set him right down in there just up to the base give him a little push down and ta-da I, I in about a month um, I'm gonna go ahead and transplant this guy directly into the garden and uh, wow one onion to three imagine that and uh, if we look at this one that I have sitting on the table here this one has actually leached out one two three Four, I'm going to go ahead and say four times. So I'm going to get four bulb onions out of this one. I really hope this helps, Patriots. And uh, let me know what you think. God bless.